everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I got some mail from Princess Ninja and Keto. There's my address. My address is there, but my address is also in my more section in case you really want to know. I think it is. There about? I don't know. I don't it's think it is. It's in my about. I think it is. In my more. In my about. In my about. It's been out there several times. I think times, it's out so. there. It's also on the sign outside. Mm. <laughs> which it has been there for years and years and years and years. Well, what I won from, from Melanie Hyde, Princess Ninja and Keto, I had won a gift card. And she put it in this big manila envelope. And this is the card, and it says Nona on the front of the card. And it was a $25 gift card that I won. And she gave me this this um card that says dare to try i think it says yeah. i'm reading dare back to try. dare to try it's cute it's like a, it like have you ever tried to fly <laughs> that's what it reminds that's what it is the little one's got wings on and gonna fly i dare to try fly i have tried i have jumped up in the air and i've come down <laughs> but inside it says small steps add up to big accomplishments and my, what it was is, I was in Melanie's February challenge where you had to, to try to do better each time that you did so that you were, you, you would start with a certain amount of, well, she was walking, I did skip roping. You were, where you, you tried harder and harder each time and you, and you had to increase it as you went along. And it says that you are a rock star. I also did her plank thing. That was really, that was a challenge and a half. I had never in my life done planks until Melanie had said that we should do planks. And I did planks. And I was in that plank challenge. I felt like a ninja. In fact, the last one I dressed up like a ninja, sort of. I was all in pink, mm -hmm. I believe. You are the pink ninja. I was the pink ninja. You are a rock star. Thank you for joining us in the fitness and keep being amazing, Melanie. Melanie Ninja. <laughs> she is a ninja. She's really, she tries really hard to up her game every time. Or like she's walking all the time. She walks, she gets up really early in the morning. She lives in Florida, so she's got the really nice, nice weather. Although we had good weather today. It was, I think, 42 degrees, 43 I took Mr. Brown outside, and let's put the little video in of Mr. Brown right here. I brought Mr. Brown outside to see what the others would do, and three of them came over to see what was going on. Mr. Brown kind of jumped a little. I don't know what happened there. It was just as I was coming out the door, so I don't know. But it's 42 degrees out, so I thought I'd bring him out, bring her outside, so she can socialize with the other hens for a while. I decided to come back out again because that one hen scooted underneath the fence. Oh, are you going to come and see my Mr. Mr. Brown? You're not supposed to do that. Why are you so mean? Jake! Don't you do that. You better be nice. I'm watching you. trust you, Jake. Really don't trust you. Whoa! 
What do you want there, pretty boy? You want the snack, eh? <laughs> She's a noisy one. Jake, I gotta bring you in. Come on. You're not very nice there, little white one. Pecking on my little one here. She's bold, isn't she? Come on, Jake, let's go in. In. They said that we're supposed to have temperatures up in the 60s by Wednesday. I'm looking forward to that. I did spend some time outside, but not a lot because the wind was, the wind is like cold. It feels icy, the wind, but the sun felt good. And I try to stay where the wind is blocked when I'm sitting outside. And you notice that one little white hen, that's a bold little white hen. And she's not very nice. She's the one that keeps coming after Mr. Brown. Later on, I don't know if I videotaped that or not, but I did have him have Mr. Brown outside with Little Lady, and Little Lady did not bother Mr. Brown. And when I did chicken scratch for all the hens, I didn't do this either. I didn't show you, but when I opened the gate to give the chicken scratch to all the other hens, guess who walked into the chicken area and was eating with them? But you could see she was very cautious in her pecking because she's really the bottom of the pecking order. Pecking order is a true thing. It's like those that are very popular and those that are middle, in the middle of them and then there's the ones that are very low and that's what the chickens do. They, they, de they decide who is the top hen, who is middle hens and who are the very low hens. Right now I have one little hen that's really low because she doesn't even come out to eat with the rest of them. She waits and she hides a lot but she will join them eventually. Was there anything else I wanted to tell you? I don't remember. Oh, I had plenty of nothing. <laughs> that I was going to tell you. I've got plenty of nothing and nothing's plenty for me. You know, what it was is I was trying to think what my topic would be today and you know, I'm running dry. I'm really running dry and I tried to find something that was very um, interesting that I could share with you. But I couldn't find anything that was interesting that I wanted to share. So if you have any questions, maybe that would help me give you something that you want to hear or know. Ask a question in the comments if you if you have a question that you'd like answered and I'll look up the answer or I'll it might be something I already know and if I don't know I will try to find the answer. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Take care and I'll see you then. Bye bye.